Broadcasting live in high definition. From the Tri-State's only high-def station, this is Good Morning Tri-State. In high definition. Many people are struggling to pay their bills and stay out of debt. Our financial expert, Bill Hesch, will join us with some realistic money management tips. It's getting tougher and tougher for many Americans to pay for basic necessities such as food and gasoline. Attorney and certified public accountant Bill Hesch is joining us this morning to help people turn things around. And good morning. Good morning, Janelle. Well, quickly tell us about some of the things that's really causing people problems these days. Well, it has been uh, in our country that we're spending more than we're saving. It's been going on for the last three years. Mm -hmm. Higher gas prices, higher medical expenses, health insurance premiums. It's really hitting everybody harder and harder. And typically, regardless of your income, 20000 a year, 50000 a year, I see it all the time, 100000 a year. Money is the number one problem in relationships, and people are spending more than they make. And tell us about some of the solutions. One thing you say, personal budget, set some goals. Absolutely. It's a first step in trying to measure and trying to manage your budget is to really set some goals and try to identify what are your fixed expenses. Let's try to identify you know, goals for your gas and your entertainment and your eating out. But you have to kind of try to save some money for a, a cushion for unexpected car repairs or home repairs. And you have to try to plan for your retirement. All this is coming at a time when the higher gas prices are hitting everybody it's so I deep. I think that's definitely true because an unexpected medical expense could send some people over the edge exactly. and they haven't planned for anything. Right. Now once you set up your budget, which is what CPAs work with clients both in their business as well as on a personal side, mm -hmm. you you set a budget, then you need to manage it. So you need to track your expenses, I recommend daily for around three months, and really get an idea of what you're spending each day, and try to identify where can you start cutting your expenses on a daily basis. Treasure each dollar, and try to identify what kind of expenses can you, can you shop for a little bit wiser, find maybe some better bargains, um, and maybe try to say, hey, say no to yourself. After you pay your expenses, your fixed expenses, don't use the credit card just because it feels good. Mm -hmm. Eliminate emotional spending. And also, too, you point out that a lot of people are really living above their means to have a certain lifestyle. Exactly. And one of the easiest, simplest things people can really start considering today is looking at your home and your car and, and, and cutting back. And in fact, it might be better to move closer to your work, especially with the higher gas prices today. So downsize your home, downsize your car, or maybe it's a matter of just not increasing in buying that new car or the new, or the new house. So really, you should even consider downsizing if you have to. It, that's what it's all about. In order to balance things out, start being able to have some extra money left so you can start start paying off some of your credit card debt and really start saving for retirement. Makes a lot of sense there. What's a final solution that we can give, a final tip for people? Well, it's it's easier said than done just to kind of, you know, okay, we're, I'm going to, you know, cut my expenses. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the, the solution is you need to maybe start looking at making more money and when you look at a second job you realize you know maybe that's not the solution either. So really it's about change. Mm -hmm. And people have spending habits that they're not willing to change and that really is where the solution lies. So you gotta change think about your it. spending habits. Mm -hmm. Okay. William Hesch, thank you so much Bill. We appreciate it. Glad to be here. Now for more information about Bill's financial planning tips go to our website WCPO.com and click on nine links. He's gonna have all of this information on his website.